Hey everybody, I'm here with Matilda today. It is Tuesday, March 16th, 2021, and uh, I'm actually not at the farm, I'm at my house. Um, I've got to take a bunch of seeds to the uh, greenhouse that um, is growing out seeds for me, hanging out with Matilda. Um, and uh, my wife is in the next room, actually I'm vacuuming the house, so I just wanted to lock myself here in the library for a minute and do a quick video, another installment of What You Plan. Um, so all this is stuff that I'm growing out at the farm here in Virginia's Zone 7. Okay, so first thing I'm excited about is yarrow. Um, I actually got two different kinds of yarrow. Um, the more, the merrier. But um, all these today are from uh, Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds. But um, yarrow is very pretty. Um, it has some medicinal um, purposes. I think it's good for skin treatments and such. But mostly I got it because... Um, it's excellent for pollinators. This is all part of uh, the stuff that I'm getting for the pollinator grant. So these will be going off to uh, Tuck Farms where Ralph will get them set up for me in the greenhouse. And I'll have uh, a couple hundred plants here before you know it. They're wonderful companion plants and they're great um, perennials. As you know, I like perennials. I like things that stick around for a while that need less and less attention from me. So, uh, And almost everything that I've got today is, is a perennial herb or so. Um, I got two kinds of uh, salvia or sage. I got a, it was a blue Monday and a pink Sunday. Um, Ralph is actually already growing some other sages for me as well. So um, again, brilliant, beautiful, colorful flowers. Um, and I don't know if these are um, good as culinary sages or not. Um, but again, mostly I'm using these for uh, pollinators to support the pollinators. So, uh, these look really pretty and I'm excited about them. Um, this is what I'm really excited about. Marjoram, which, uh, I've heard people describe as, um, oregano's, um, less known little sister. Um, I love oregano and marjoram is another really great, um, tiny shrubby perennial, um, Oregano grows really well here in our zone, and um, I'm excited about marjoram. It's also um, one of the main ingredients for making <coughs> for making um, Italian seasoning, which, um, since I make my own breads that I sell at the farmer's market, I would love to eventually be able to grow my own herbs that go into them. So to be able to make my own um, Italian seasoning with uh, basil that I grew myself and oregano that I grew myself and marjoram that I grew myself, um, and parsley and other things involved in that is pretty exciting to me. So super excited about this. Um, I've also got two kinds of hyssop, uh, two kinds of Korean hyssop. Uh, and hyssop first came on my radar as a companion plant for uh, grapes. Um, when I planted um, a bunch of uh, muscadine grapes out in the garden here at the house. Um, and so I'm kind of continuing with that tradition. Um, so uh, these are great. They come back year after year. Um, bees love them. Uh, I've let them uh, set flower uh, when they were here. Let them. I, I didn't do anything. I basically ignored them. So they did their own thing, did their cycle. And I found that bees and other um, tiny pollinators just absolutely went bonkers for them. So super excited to add these to the farmer's market. Uh, sorry, to the farm as well. Um, so there's another couple hundred plants that I'll be getting going in the greenhouse. Um, what else have I got? So this is like a series here, a little run of interesting herbs that uh, came to my attention just from watching a bunch of YouTube videos about things that have um, different medicinal properties. Um, but mostly I get them because they're perennial and they help um, attract and repel uh, different garden pests. I'm not an herbalist. I don't know anything about any of that stuff I'd like to someday. So I'm excited to actually have these things available. So I've got um, motherwort and marshmallow from Egypt, which I'm pretty excited about. And what else have I got? I have whorehound, which um, I've definitely had the whorehound candy that they um, have at uh, Tractor Supply and they're really good. They're kind of licorice, but better. So I like those. And also uh, tansy. This one shows up in a ton of companion planting uh, recommendations for all kinds of different things in the garden. And I've never grown it. I don't know that I've ever seen it. Or at least if I saw it before, I wasn't necessarily conscious of what it was. So I'm really excited to grow this one. And then lastly, I have, uh, yeah, two different varieties of feverfew. Um, which again is just a, a perennial um, companion plant 
Uh, it's apparently, again, good for um, drawing and repelling different uh, pollinators and pests, depending on what you're after. So I'm excited about that. And again, it has some medicinal benefits that I don't know much about, so I'm not going to talk about. And then, oh, lastly, doc, bloody doc, sorrel. Um, if you remember one of my last uh, What You Plant videos, I showed you that um, I've got, I think I showed this, um, I've got a perennial soil um, cultivar from France that is growing in the greenhouse for me. I think that's um, Belleville, something to Belleville sorrel. Um, this one is um, bloody doc, and uh, doc grows all over the farm. Um, it's it's everywhere up there, so I know it grows really well, so why not grow um, uh, more cultivated varieties? So this is, um, you might also hear it as um, red vein sorrel. It's got a real um, tangy, lemony almost kind of taste. Um, it's good in small doses um, on salads and things like that, so I'm going to offer it as, um, as a salad amendment that I can bring to the market, but also um, hopefully the uh, livestock will be interested in it. Um, I think it's one of those things like, um, well, yeah, like wood sorrel that can accumulate a lot of oxalic acids, which are not really good for you to have in massive quantities. So, uh, everything that I've read says to have this in small doses, but, uh, I'm excited to have, um, just another perennial green, um, to have at the farm because I'm trying to get as many things, uh, for me and the birds and our customers, um, to eat that require minimal attention from us, but that are loaded with nutrients. So these 14 things I'm taking off to Tuck Farms to get going in the greenhouse. I'm pretty excited about it. And when they come out, I'll have more videos. And as I get more seeds and such, I will have them uh, to share as well. So if you uh, are growing any of these things or have grown any of these things, um, or you know something about them, please feel free to mention it in the comments. I'm definitely curious and would love to learn more. Um, wherever you are, I hope that you are happy, healthy, and the same goes for those that you know and love. And I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.